hey guys what is up and welcome to another video and in this one i'm actually going to show you how you can upgrade to api uh, 29 on mac os because i have seen many tutorials on windows there are so many uh for, for windows on youtube but i haven't seen a single one on mac and i'm just going to show you a very simple method on how you can do it and it's very simple 10 minutes and you, it's done so yeah so I have my Android game here that I wanted to upgrade anyways. So the first thing that you want to do is of course go into your game and then you go Unity Preferences. And once you're there, you go to External Tools. Um, and then here you can actually see um, this path. But wait, before that, I'm going to, um, we need to do another thing. So before that, uh, we want to go to Project Settings real quick. You can just leave that open. Uh, but first we are going to go to project settings. So in the project project settings, um, the next thing that we want to do, of course, is here, go to the player. Then, of course, you, you probably will have Android selected. So you just go to Android, other settings and scroll down a bit. And here you can actually see target API level and it will say automatic highest installed but we don't want that because it's not going to give you that level so what we want to do is just select that level perfect so the next thing is of course what you maybe wanted to do is build the game but then you will get an error and it won't work so now we're going to need the external tools here so here you can actually see the SDK and the SDK is actually our problem. So what we want to do is click copy path. Okay. And the next thing that we want to do is go here to spotlight and just uh, copy that in here. And here we will actually see, just click on it. And here we actually see the SDK that Unity uses. And the next thing that you want to do is go to platforms. And you probably also have this folder. If not, you can just create it. But I already had this folder. So the problem is I already did this. But this normally is full. So it's working API 28. But the 29 is normally empty. So for me, it's already full because I, because I already upgraded but for you it will be completely empty and that's the problem so to simply fix that what we want to do is go to finder and what you then need to do is you need to download android studio but you probably have it already when you're making android games so if you haven't then just download android studio and for me of course i already have it so i'm just going to open android studio right now and once you've opened Android Studio, what you want to do is maybe it's a, looking a bit different for for you, but just uh, for me, it's I go to configure here and then the SDK manager. And here you can actually see Android SDK. Um, then what I want to do for you uh, here at Android 10 Q, it will actually say, of course, it's API level 29. It will say not installed. So what you want to do is you just uh, select that here. Um, and then what you want to do here is in the install button and you just want to install that. And yeah, it will take maybe a few seconds, maybe 30 seconds or something. And then once you have that installed, just check here status installed. And then you want to go, um, wait. Then the next thing you don't want to crit, uh, you want to have this thing and just copy that. And then you can go out of Android Studio. With that, you of course want to go back to Spotlight here. And just don't forget this platforms has to, or this Finder tab with the platforms has to be open. So uh, in Spotlight, you just want to copy that in. And oh, this is, I guess, the wrong thing. Thing. No, uh, here you can actually see you go to platforms in this and here will be Android uh, 29 and you just copy all of this and paste it into this folder. And once you've actually done that, you can just go to Unity again. So here, just go to Unity and then once you hit file build settings, you can actually build this for Android 
10 and then you can actually release it in the play store i hope that video actually helped if it did you can of course leave a like on the video and also subscribe for more content and i'll see you in the next tutorial